Yo, man, it's your boy Wavy Fredo, and we back here with another one. Today, we got some more news about NCAA Football 25 or College Football 25, whichever you may. I'll stick with NCAA because that's what I know. So, we're going to go on and get with the elephant in the room, and we're going to discuss NIL first. So, if you don't know already, College Football, EA Sports, whoever you may, has given college athletes an option to opt into or opt out of the game. Basically, if they want to be involved, you opt in. If you don't want to be involved, you, you don't want to agree to the terms, you opt out. Now, opting in would mean that you get $600 in a free copy of the new game. I don't know if they're going to in the future or if they even get a percentage of whatever that they make from the game. But as far as we know right now, you just get $600 in a free copy of the game. Crazy to me, but we'll touch on that later. Opting out will obviously mean that you are not in the game. Now, I assume they're going to do it like how they used to do it. Basically, it's your player. Your name is just not there. So I assume they're going to do it like that. I don't know if they're going to make a fake name or like I said, they'll do HB uh, number six or whatever the case may be. I don't know how they're going to do it, but opting out of the game basically means that you're not going to be in the game. Now, what we do know is coaches will not be in the game at all. There will be no coaches in the game. There will be no Deion Sanders for those who want to play with Colorado. There will be no none of the coaches with whatever is your favorite coach, whoever you think that you're going to play with. None of them guys will be participating in the game as what we know now as the first rollout in the game no coaches will be involved so that's something very important i mean obviously coaches already weren't involved in the game but in madden they are so there it is with that also involved in the game will be 134 teams there will be no fcs teams so none of the hbcus none of the I guess Division Two teams will be involved in the game. So if you were looking to play with someone like a Jackson State, or if you even attend an HBCU, I attended one myself. Um, no one business, but I'm a Miles College graduate. Anywho, um, so if you were thinking of, you know, you go to an HBCU and you would like to use them inside the game, that is totally not possible. So you will also not be able to play with those teams but like i said there will be 134 teams involved and unlike any other year every team is eligible to be in the national championship um i've always been like the type of person who want to go and get the weakest team and make them get to the national championship whether if that's a dynasty or road to glory like one year on road to glory i actually went to army and tried to get them to a national championship no matter how many games you I've won no matter how many yards I got no much how much no matter how much carrying I did we just never made it It was impossible we were not ranked we can never get to the bowl outside of the uh, I believe it's the army and navy bowl that's the only bowl that we've able, ever been able to get to so in this upcoming game supposedly we're supposed that's supposed to be changed and every team can go to a bowl a, a big bowl like com, uh, um, national championship rose bowl kind of whatever the case may be you are able to go there now um, also, just to uh, touch back on the NIL thing again, with uh, a player opting out, let's just say, I know Travis Hunter definitely did just opt in, but let's just say if he didn't for that matter, and we wanted to create Travis Hunter in the game, you would not be able to create um, active college athletes in that game. So if you thought that you were going to use Colorado and change his player's name to Travis Hunter because he opted out, the game would not allow you to do that. Of course, you can wing it, change the name up a little bit, but as far as I know, you will not be able to change players' names to active college athletes. The game will not allow you to. Those That was news that we have gotten, so I'm giving it to y'all. Now, also, ESPN will be in the game. Of course, you know, uh, in old days, I think Aaron Andrews and Kurt Herbstreit was always was in uh, the NCAA football franchise, but they will be back. I don't think Aaron will be back, but Kurt Herbstreit will because he's a part of ESPN. We, I don't believe we had ESPN before, if I'm not mistaken, but ESPN will be a big deal in this game. Um, I think we will have. Uh, the little college game day things going on before the game and all of that stuff they're putting a lot of stuff in this game to 
to make it an imp to make an impact and i think it's great i think it's uh like the perfect time because like i said madden and 2k and like those are on a decline and like i'm sorry but madden like sports games are not the best games to play right now people aren't that interested in them so if ncaa who've been on a 10 year or whatever hiatus can come in and make a big splash it literally can take over the gaming of sports like and also it's crazy because they probably don't even need to make a perfect game they could just make a half decent game and it would just be so great because as consumers as fans of ncaa we've been waiting on the game like madden been kind of trying to redo the whole little college football thing on a little superstar mode people have been redoing ncaa football making these mods is what you are seeing now people have been trying to do those but it's just not the real feel of ncaa football it's not the real feel of making the road to glory starting off making your high school like i used to make my actual high school and go against actual opponents dorsey crenshaw whatever the case may be i used to actually do that so the, the Madden and whatever the case may be, they don't give you the real feel of that. So it'll just never be the same. So it's very huge that they're bringing back, they're coming back, and I'm really hoping that they can make a huge splash. Also, we'll get to why the game even went away in the first place. Dipping a little back into the NIL thing, the, the game disappeared because people wanted to be compensated for being in the game. Now, um, an example of when DeAnthony Thomas Black Mamba came to Oregon, they had a player on the on his first year. They had a player who was number seven, who was it was him, but it didn't have his name. Obviously, like nobody's names were in the game. It would just be HB six receiver number one or whatever the case may be. If you did the settings to have names, then it would just be random names. It wouldn't be black mamba or d'anthony thomas or cam newton or whoever the case may be so people had a problem that they were using these people's archetypes and attributes and not getting comp and not compensating them just they just weren't putting their name there but it was actually them people like if you know then you know so that was uh they couldn't come to an agreement that was the reason why the game had to be shut down in the first place because there was just going to be this big problem big lawsuits whatever the case may be reasons to opt in I feel like I'll get to my personal reasons later, but I think people should opt in because of fans like the fans want to see this. You want to see this because at one point in time you were a fan. You know, if you were in college, you played NCAA college football like you were a fan of this. Your fans are a fan of this. Like just, you know, you could do it for the fans or whatever the case may be. Um, and majority of you guys already are getting NIL deals like you guys are, you know, I can't say anything about your money, but you're already getting money. Like now for those who aren't getting too many big NIL deals, I can understand why this is a big deal, but sorry to say it may sound harsh, but you're not a big guy in this game. If you're not a guy who getting who getting NIL already, you're probably not a guy. And we probably don't care about you even being in the game anyway. I'm sorry, but that's just how it is. Do it for yourself though, man. Like I'm sure you want to play this game and you want to see yourself in the game, excuse me. And your friends, your family, like everybody, this is a milestone. Like to see yourself in the game, you're just gonna wait to Madden. You work hard every year, and there's a game out for you guys. You can be in the game. Like go be in the game. Like this is a huge deal. Um, also, it's been forever. It's been forever since we've been able to experience this thing. Like you can be a part of history. Like you can really be a part of history, and I think that people should take advantage of that. Um, obviously, you know you may or may not but like i said you should want to be a part of history this game is coming out again and i honestly think it's going to make history i honestly think it's going to have record sales just because of the simple fact that we've been waiting for so many years it's been going for so long the demand for it is through the roof so there's that reasons to opt out it's not enough money simple there, there's nothing more you can say there's nothing more there's none less it's not enough money six hundred dollars is fucking insane because any we all got six hundred dollars we could pull six hundred dollars out of our pocket right now you know that ain't nothing you getting a free copy of the game whatever that's you just saving 70 bucks so 670 bucks is technically what you're getting for your image and likeness while they're making millions of dollars off you guys which is why i think that they should give you guys a percentage of each sales every 
like a percentage of it should go to the whole group of athletes like somehow they should just get whatever the case whatever because you guys are going to make millions off of it and i think it's unfair that you just giving them six hundred dollars like they you could have gave them a large a uh, much larger amount of money but hey i'm not in that business am i what to expect in the game i think we should expect greatness i think we should expect so much fun like and in the past years ncaa has significantly been better than matt probably because of road to glory maybe because of the ultimate team maybe because of the dynasty i don't know why but it's for my opinion it was road to glory it was just so much better than superstar mode on madden so we should expect greatness we should expect uh, a huge amount of game modes to play we should it's just a lot it's a whole lot that that's going to be inside of the game because like there was a lot of things inside of the old ncaa's and we got a lot from that so we should expect a lot we should expect it to be far more better than madden no smut on madden but ncaa has always been better than you sorry for those who don't agree don't really care it's my shit, not yours um but yeah it's, it's always been so much better so we should expect that man we should expect to be happy honestly i do not think that we're going to be let down i'm sure they've been working on this for a significant amount of time and they had a lot of time to 10 years to work on this they better not motherfucking fail so, now my personal thoughts on it like i said i think the opting out thing would be selfish and it may be selfish for me to even think that but i think it's selfish for you to opt out because you have fans you have family you have yourself people who want to play the game and they want to maybe use you you know, so that would be fair to opt in. I also feel that $600 and a free copy is not enough. Like that's simply not enough because you're going to make so much more than what you're going to end up paying them, which I don't really feel like doing the math, but I believe they said it was 11,000 players and $600 in a free copy. Whatever, add that up. I don't give a damn. We're not doing math here. We're talking about NCAA. Anyway, you're going to make far much more money than that. So it's like, where's the rest of this money going? Like, where is the, like, and that's why I say they should give a percentage to the whole group of players because you're going to make so much more money than what you're giving them. Like, your, your overturn, your profit is going to be so much more larger. So that's my feelings about it. Um, I'm so excited, honestly, like, just to know that we're, we've got the ball rolling fast on this like uh regardless of if these people opt in or opt out we're getting a game to know that is fucking great i don't care if they opt in or not like honestly i would i would like them to i would rather them to but just getting a game is enough for me like that's enough for me we'll worry about the opting in and getting them more money next year i'm just so happy that we're getting college football 25 aka ncaa the bit dog but yeah i'm just happy like you don't understand what it feels like to hear the college band like to man, it was just a huge deal if you haven't experienced it already if you like a young buck who don't know too many too much about ncaa get ready because this shit is a big deal i'm sorry it's so much better than madden and and i don't know if i'm supposed to say this i'm not playing for free though i'm only playing ncaa for money so you want to play me i will be sharing footage on this channel so if you want to play me how your money up you hear me anywho like i said that's what i feel there's my excitement for it it's a lot of excitement if you can't tell man just ask my boys we've been waiting on this for a little while so that's what we got that's all we got for right now you know if more news come up you're gonna hear from me i'm gonna be the one to give it to you until then have a good day have a good night whatever the case may be peace